hospitals are diverse communities, people of different backgrounds and faith. In Israel, hospitals, worlds collide. Arab doctors treat Jewish patients. Jewish doctors treat Arab patients. A victim of a terror attack is treated down the hall from the attacker. But even with all of these complications, Israeli hospitals are a place of hope and innovation. We believe in the healing power of laughter. We believe that humor transcends race, color, and religion. In Israel, we have dream doctors, medical professionals who serve alongside our doctors and nurses. I have worked very closely with these men and women who treat patients with smile and love. Because in Israel, humor can be serious business. I am a many things, you know, I am. But the best person I am is in the places like this. If I put my red nose and my silhouette, I have very, very small moment to make an ID of the patient in front of me and to listen to the energy that he brings out. My name is David Dush Barashi. Dush is my clown name. Dush is a very special person. He is not only a medical clown, he is a leader in the field. Medical clowning is a very special area in medicine. It's new, it's innovative, and here in Hadassah, in Jerusalem, medical clowns are part of the medical team. The Dream Doctors Project was established 15 years ago integrating medical clowning as part of the healthcare system in Israeli hospital. Medical clowning exists all over the world in different models. The model that we built here is a model that is not an entertaining model. It's way beyond humor. It's regular hours, regular days, and they're working as part of the team. We want to promote medical clowning as a recognized profession with the Ministry of Health. And today we are in 29 hospitals with 100 professional medical clowns all over the country. It's very important when you work with people, let them show you who they are and not what happens to them. What happens to them is very small. Who they are is who they are. And come on. It's everything. If the doctor or the nurse is in the right side, the clown will be in the left side. We're taking care of all the body. So they taking care of the sickness side of the, the patient, I taking care of the healthy side of the person. You can work with a child that he have a cancer, but his mind and his uh, creativity and his personality without any cancer. I will do everything to find out what is healthy, and I work with this and I will empower it. You know, Dush, he is like my son, like my son. How do you do a selfie? How do you do a selfie? Humor is an international language. Here, we have a population which is very, very heterogeneous. We have Palestinians, we have Orthodox Jews, and we have all the spectrum in between. Medical clowns speak the same language. This is the reason that medical clowns were sent with the Israeli army to Nepal, to Haiti, with the first forces. Because over there, where there is language barriers, when people are traumatized, medical clowns are the body that they can trust and they will be much more cooperative. Disaster zone is the place that you actually understand life. 
If you go to a place that everybody lost everything, they want that somebody will come and say to them, let's rise again. And it happened. I saw it in my eyes. The last thing that the child expects in a hospital is a clown. A clown that does crazy things, that interrupts the daily routines. And the child knows that this person is for me. The dream doctors change the way we do our job. And I cannot imagine working here without the dream doctor. You know, I all the time said that for the entire world, I'm just somebody. But for just somebody, it can be the entire world. Please welcome David Barashi and the Dream Doctors. They say that comedy is tragedy plus time. But in Israel, eh, we don't have always the luxury of time. Whether you are a nation under threat or a family dealing with unspeakable challenges, the medicine of humor and the humanity it brings can be the key to resiliency and ultimately survival. We believe, the dream doctor, that no matter... What is this word? <laughs> that no matter if life... <laughs> that no matter if life brings you laughter or tears, the journey is always softened by having a hand to hold. For Israel, America has always been that hand and for that friendship. And on behalf of our patient in the Israeli hospitals, we love you, and we want to say thank you. We love you, every one of you, thank you.